Temple's got to get the ball close to the basket. They've been settling for those perimeter jumpers. Easier said than done, Dan. Temple scoreless in the last nine possessions. 28-7 run by the Temple Owls. After being down by 16, Hollis Jefferson inside the game. Building today, part of the honoring ceremony of the senior class here at Temple. Randall, one open three, picked up. Team in the single center. And they keep their composure early because, as you said, the Rams will be loaded for bear tonight. Richmond with first possession. Brothers. Have some, a long line of great coaches at Richmond. But nonetheless, we'll see how the big men for Richmond really handle the basketball. A lot of passing, a lot of throwing into the post and kicking it back out. Williams, the big man, got his own rebound, goes back. <laughs> Lindsay with a dribbling exhibition with the left. No. When teams play zone pressure, they'll trap the first pass. So when the ball gets inbounded, there's a trap initially, but VCU doesn't do that. Who is open? to pass the ball to. Anthony, back out to Robbins. He lost it off his shoe. That's not the way. Anthony regathers. Ten on the shot clock, loose again. Back out high. Lindsey into the paint. Anthony head fake. Robbins with two on the clock. And that's off. They have to take the opportunities that that aggressive defense presents. Exactly. We talked about whether are we going to get more out to try to save the ball inbound and Butler got the ball back. Good, good job by the official. Rodney Clark. Trying and, and get a couple victories to solidify their place in the big dance. Charlotte could be an X factor in that tournament as well. You see you. And they'll see another team in UMass that likes full court pressure. That's to speed the game up a little bit, but they're not nearly as effective at it. As Cheers. Coming off a 7.3 rebound effort at Rhode Island on Wednesday. Robinson from three. The big man too long. Fillmore open on the other side, and Martin couldn't see him. Xavier needs to collect themselves right now. A little bit out of sorts. Robert. VCU averages 82 points in road games this year to lead the country. Right now, they have eight points. They're literally halfway done with this first half. Credit the defense of the Billikens and also their methodical half-court offense. Have to admit, during the VCU UMass game last week, they had a similar first half where they missed a lot of little layups. Shot clock is at five for St. Louis. Here's the call with his runner and no good. See six minutes go off the clock between field goals for DCU, but that's what we're near. Here's Ellis for three again. Sure. He's a guy that once again he gets on fire. Make it a second. He's gonna obliterate his numbers from last year. Many games left. Ellis for three. He was hot against Fordham. Graham missed that three. He has been the class in a couple of weeks, but he's just <laughs> He's got great moves. <laughs> Hope he's met the class for his parents' sake. They're paying money. Low open for a moment. A little hesitant. They skip it to the corner. Ellis open for three. No good. Ellis left open again. He'll stop and take the jumper. No good. Low tips it to Barnett, who tips it to Ellis.